thought I'd do a, give you a quick look at this uh, panel I showed a few, maybe maybe last video, uh, or at most a couple of videos ago. I'm not exactly sure how I'm releasing these, sort of haphazard. Well, not the van videos, but every other video I do. Uh, anyway, this is the delaminization, I guess you would call it, or delaminating, that happens on a flexible solar panel. And this is, I believe this is a textbook case. Now, these cracks in here were not caused by the delamination. It was caused by the extraordinary effort it took to get that this, this thing off of the top of this van. You'll see up there. You might be able to see it. I did a heck of a job putting that down. I'm not exactly sure how I put it down, but I really put that sucker down. Some kind of double-sided tape. Anyway, uh, got to figure out if I'm going to clean it up or just put something over the top of it. You know I'm more likely to just drop something over the top of it. In any case, this thing is about 2.5 years old, and uh, it, it, it shows it. And uh, I've got another panel that's a lot bigger than this one. And I'm trying to see if it's actually going to fit or what I'm going to have gymnastics about to do to get it up there. But I did decide this panel was was beyond repair. And now that I've got it down, it's even more. You can just see the plastic and how it's how it's just it's just deteriorating. That's beyond repair. I can just I'm just scratching it off. Anyways, in any case, I want to give you this. I want to head for the dumpster with this. I want to give a quick uh, video. Uh, synopsis or video uh, videography of the uh, of the panel I didn't show the process of taking it off it took a pry bar and about 25 or, well 35 40 minutes in the hot sun of doing it consistently and I plus I had to go get a pot uh, a ply bar from the uh, local Lowe's so you count that time in there all right I will talk to you later when the next step occurs